Hi students, in today's video, I am going to explain about vapor phase refining. It is a purification technique in which the compound of the metal is converted into vapor phase, then it is subjected to purification, hence the name vapor phase refining. Here, the impure metal is heated with a specific reagent that produces a suitable volatile compound as product. Now, what is meant by volatile compound? It is something which easily evaporates into gas even at normal temperature. Now, that volatile compound is heated strongly which undergoes decomposition reaction or it breaks down producing pure form of metal. If the principle of vapor phase refining is not clear to you here, you will understand it properly when I take an example. Before explaining the example, let's see what are the requirements for vapor phase refining. We have two requirements to carry out vapor phase refining. The first one is that the given metal should form a volatile compound with suitable reagent. And the second requirement is that the volatile compound should be easily decomposable so that the recovery of the metal is easy. So the volatile compound should break down easily and it should give back the pure metal. Now let's see the examples. First example of vapor phase refining is MON process which is used for refining of nickel. Let's see what are the steps involved in MON process. First of all, the impure nickel is taken. It is heated with a stream of carbon monoxide gas. So the impure metal is nickel and the specific reagent is carbon monoxide gas. At that time, an easily evaporating compound of nickel is formed with carbon monoxide and that compound is nickel tetracarbonyl and its formula is NiCO4 times. So it is a volatile compound. During that time, what happens to the impurities associated with nickel? They do not combine with carbon monoxide gas, hence they are left behind. It is only nickel which combines with carbon monoxide producing the volatile compound. Now take out the nickel tetracarbonyl from the reaction mixture and heat it strongly. At that time what happens? Nickel tetracarbonyl decomposes or it breaks down producing pure form of nickel. Let's see the reaction. The impure nickel is taken that is heated with carbon monoxide gas at 57 to 77 degrees Celsius. At that time, a volatile compound of nickel that is nickel tetracarbonyl is produced. Since it is tetracarbonyl, we will put 4 here. Now, isolate nickel tetracarbonyl from the reaction mixture and heat it strongly at 177 to 197 degrees Celsius. It is pretty high temperature. At that time, this compound breaks down or it undergoes decomposition. So what happens? All the carbon monoxide molecules go out of the compound, leaving behind pure nickel. So, Nickel tetracarbonyl is heated at 177 to 197 degrees Celsius producing pure solid nickel and carbon monoxide gas is the side product. Since it is a gas, it escapes out of pure nickel. This is how you can purify impure nickel using MON process which is a vapor phase refining technique. Let's see the second example for vapor phase refining and that process is called Van Arkel method. This method is used in the purification of metals like zirconium and titanium. In this method also, the impure zirconium or titanium is heated in an evacuated vessel with iodine. What is meant by evacuated vessel? It's an empty vessel like this from which even air is also removed. So it is a completely empty vessel. In this vessel, you have to take impure zirconium or titanium and treat it with iodine and heat it strongly. At that time, the metal combines with iodine forming a volatile compound. If you are taking zirconium, it forms zirconium tetraiodide. If you are taking titanium, it forms titanium tetraiodide. Both these compounds are volatile in nature. Then, 
that volatile compound is heated strongly by taking a hot tungsten filament so what is obtained pure metal either zirconium or titanium are obtained as the products so here is the reaction if you want to purify zirconium take the impure zirconium solid and heat it with iodine gas in an evacuated vessel at a temperature of 597 degree celsius at that time a volatile compound zirconium tetra iodide zr i4 gas is produced let's balance this equation here we have i4 so put 2 here now this volatile compound zirconium tetra iodide is isolated and is heated strongly over a tungsten filament at a temperature of nearly 1800 degree celsius so what happens this compound decomposes or it breaks down producing pure zirconium and iodine gas is produced as the side product i had already balanced this equation by putting 2 in front of iodine now if you want to purify titanium take impure titanium solid instead of zirconium and repeat the same reaction so titanium impure titanium is heated with iodine at a temperature of 250 degree celsius since the metal is different sli slightly lesser temperature is sufficient for that what do we get titanium tetra iodide gas is obtained as the product balance the equation to make the number of iodines 4 put 2 here then this volatile compound that is titanium tetra iodide is taken it is heated strongly at 1427 degree celsius at that time the compound breaks or it undergoes decomposition producing pure titanium solid and iodine gas as the byproduct so again balance this equation here we have four iodines here only two iodines are there so put two here okay students i think i forgot to uh, balance the equation in mond's process let me do that yeah i didn't balance the equation here when nickel tetra carbonyl undergoes decomposition we get nickel solid and how many carbon monoxides four carbon monoxides well now it is balanced okay hope you understood the concept clearly that is about vapor phase refining thank you so much for watching